The French organizational policy seems to be the center of focus in the International Criminal Court's rejection on appeals challenging jurisdiction in the Kenyan cases. The defense teams had challenged the court's jurisdiction before the pre-trial chamber, submitting that the court should decline to exercise jurisdiction over their cases and contesting the interpretation of the term organizational policy as a component of crimes against humanity under Article 7.2a of the Rome Statute, which the pre-trial chamber had adopted by a majority in its decision authorizing the opening of an investigation into the situation in Kenya. The pre-trial chamber had previously confirmed that the ICC had jurisdiction over the two Kenyan cases of assertions by the defense teams of legal, factual or procedural errors stemming from the pre-trial chamber's interpretation of the term organizational policy and its subsequent findings that such policy existed in the two cases. Today the appeals chamber indicated that as the prosecutor has expressly alleged crimes against humanity, including the existence of an organizational policy. The appeals chamber found that the ICC has subject matter jurisdiction over the alleged crimes. The appeals chamber noted that whether the prosecutor can establish in law or in evidence the existence of such a policy is not a question of jurisdiction, but rather a question to be determined on the merits. The appeals chamber concluded that issues raised on the appeal are therefore not properly before the appeals chamber. The appeals chamber decision relate only to the issues raised by the accused and are not within prejudice to the merits of the case. This means that Uhuru Kenyatta, William Ruto, Francis Mudaura and Joshua Arab Sang will head to full trial with the status conference to determine the date of the trial scheduled for 11th and 12th June this year. For News at 8, I'm Shem Oluchiri.